and knowing how to use new technology can be daunting for small companies which do not have much financial muscle or extensive capabilities. But the Employment and Employability Institute has launched a series of programs to help such businesses kickstart their efforts to do so. Learning to fly drones in a figure of eight and in a loop. This is what a group of participants are learning to do on a hot and sunny morning at Marina East. This is the first time that the Employment and Employability Institute is supporting a drones workshop as they see an increase in demand for such programs. One such participant is Mr. Clifford Lee, who works at a surveying company. He says learning how to operate a drone will enable companies like his to offer a wider range of services for its clients. We plan to use the drones um, to like take the photos of buildings on from the roof or cover larger areas and using the, these photos uh, to stitch them together and build a 3D model which our clients can then use uh, in their work to help them design better buildings or also to help them to model certain um, environmental situations. Increasingly, more and more robotics and artificial intelligence will be deployed as part of our push towards being a smart nation, being able to see what's happening around us, being able to make very quick decisions that are founded on actual data as opposed to guesses or intuition. And that's exactly what 200 participants want to do. They have gathered at the Employment and Employability Institute's inaugural Robotics Day, where they are learning the basics of robotics and programming. A guide was also launched so smaller companies know where to start as they try to incorporate more of such technology in everyday processes. But cost could still be a key challenge for the smaller players, including those in the shipping industry. For them to invest in robots probably is a challenge because now everybody is looking at reducing costs and all. So if you ask them to invest in robots, now, I think the timing probably, I would say it's not right. The institute agrees that cost is a key issue, but also says robotics technology is a game changer that can help to boost productivity and raise competitiveness. I think we have 